All right, young art students, welcome back to another class, another lesson in drawing where your visions come true in the form of art. All right, so we're back at the junkie drawing table and um, say hello to the squeaky chair. One day I'm gonna retire the squeaky chair, but it's, it's, it's comfortable. It makes its own noise, it talks to me, but it's comfortable. Okay, so we're gonna work on doing the actual face in this video if you looked at if you did not see the last video go back to the last video where i showed you how to draw the head we showed you the shapes of the head so you have to have the head before you can draw the face in it or you're just drawing a circle and putting the face in it which is fine if you're doing cartoons but uh if you want to do more realistic stuff like you might want to draw your parents or your friends or do a portrait of yourself or just you know draw one of the presidents or something like that uh, or you know you might want to draw a superhero and you don't want them to look so cartoony you have to learn the shapes and how to do the head all right so angry camera hopefully you won't get too angry i've got my yellow paper here just in case so let's do a quick go back to what we learned the uh in the other video just in case for some reason you can't find it so we start out with the circle oval rectangle those are the three shapes we're going to use now the oval pretty much sums it up that could be a head shape this if you're going to do a circle you're going to add a v a v like that but you're going to round it off and then you have your shape of your head this one you're going to you're going to chop this off just like you're doing a letter v chop this off right here and right here and then you're going to round it off right here just like you're drawing a circle like the, actually you're drawing half a circle and then you have a shape and this is more for your realistic males or like your superhero type you know characters so you do the neck right there you put some ears on there and then you see like oh that's a powerful character you know you do your eye here and your eye here nose there and your mouth there and you, you, you have your little strong character so these are the three shapes we went over in the last video i'm not going to do too much on this in this video i'm just going to show you how to do faces so when you do your face, your eyes tell the story. Two things with your face is usually your eyes and your hands will tell a story. So if I'm drawing a, a character or a person and he comes into the room and his hands are like that, that kind of tell you he's, he's mad, you know, he's frustrated or something. Uh, you know, if I do his hands like that, he's relaxed. Same thing with the eyes. You can tell if somebody's, somebody's mad or what. If he comes into your room, comes, comes into school, your friend and his eyes are like this then you know, you know, the guy's mad and wrinkles on his forehead and his teeth are like, Argh. you know, he's mad. So whenever you draw, you think about that. Your eyes tell the whole story. So let's start out with the eyes. And there's, there are so many ways you can do eyes. You can do eyes just like this. You can do eyes like this. You can do eyes like this. And a lot of cartoons and uh, like comic strips do. Are there any other comic strips left? Eyes like that. You can do the eye, the um, football eye, more the realistic eyes. You can do the big cartoony eyes like that. You can do the manga eyes, which are just basically the same thing with the big eyes, the big eye eyeballs. They just don't match. The same thing, you just you just leave an open space. So there, there are so many different ways to do eyes. And don't let anyone say, oh, your eyes are wrong. This is this is your creation. This is your drawing. And I'm looking for a pen on my junky drawing table. Which I cannot find because there's so much junk. And I'm going to show you the junky drawing table one day, but right now. I'm a little embarrassed to show it to you. Let's try this. Let's see if this one this one works. I have so many pins. It's just it's a shame. Let's say these are your eyes. He's a little sleepy because his eyes up in the back of his head. You have the big ones, cartoony ones. 
And then you have your manga kind of eyes. Of course, this would be a girl because of the eyelashes. So, several different types of eyes, okay? You choose which one you like to do. I'll show you more in-depth eye later. Now, a nose. You put a nose on the character. This could be a nose. Your nose could be like this, just a straight line. It could be a V. It could be more of a circle. It could be more of an oval. It could be two lines. It could be just this. More kind of like a broken L leaning. So, or you could do more realistic. It would be more, well, I'm just like this. Like that. So let me ink these. So straight nose, V nose, more of a open half circle nose, more of a I don't know what that what, what that shape would be. Two nostrils. Like that. And that's a lot of manga does nose like that. Or you could have this shape right here. So again, there are so many different noses you can put on a character. You can mix and match with the eyes. Let's just say if I do this, I put a nose like this on this character, like that. It works. Or if I put this right here on this guy right here, it works. Or... Let's just say the, the V on this guy right here. So you can mix and match. So there's a world of drawing for you to do. So mouth, you don't you have too many mouths. Mouths, that's a hard word to say. You can have your straight mouth, basically. You can have uh, the mouth with the bottom lip. Or you can have more your realistic mouth, which would be like, a mountain and it's more the, the female and then the curve now the female the difference between the female and the, the male is you won't have as much top lip and you won't connect if I connect this here and here that becomes more of a female if I disconnect it it could be more of a male so let me connect it and I'll just draw another one for a male so as I said you won't have as much top as this one and then I just I won't connect it so you have this line which takes all kind of shapes it could it could of course it can go up for the smile it could be like just crooked um, you know it could be down for being sad you can have the same thing with the bottom lip so if I did the bottom lip on this you'd have like that you have it over like I guess it'd probably be right there and then you have the sad right there you have the female, which is the mountain, with the lips connected. And then you have the male with the mountain, but it's not as as um, high, shall we say, with the lips, not, or with the bottom lip not connected. So you have a whole, whole arsenal of um, shapes to choose from. So since this guy's open here, let's just do this. Since his eyes like that, he's kind of like, mm. So what, what lip did I do? Let's give him a smug. No, let's just give him a plain, just like that. He's like, mm, whatever, kind of smug. This one, since his eyes looking up, let's give him that wonder. He's like this, this one right here. He's kind of like, kind of like, mm, I wonder what I'll have for dinner. And let's give him this nose right here. So he's thinking, and then this guy, I can give him this, the male. Mouth. Like that. And they all work. You can mix and match. You know, this guy right here could just be the basic, you know, just give him this nose right here. And then 
just did I give a basic mouth? No, basic mouth right there. So they're all characters. And then you take your head shape, whatever head shape you choose. You add whatever eyes you want to add. And then you have a nice character with just the shapes. Add some ears, a little chin, some hair. And then you have a cartoon character. Now, if that, all of this depends on your style of drawing. You might, as I said, you might enjoy drawing cartoons. You might want to draw some Marvel or DC stuff. You might want to draw more Batman, Superman. You might want to draw more manga. You know, but you have to find your style or the style that you like and then add that to your drawing. So let's get into more of a realistic eye. And then, of course, these eyes are easy to do. If you don't like to do the realistic ones, you can go back to the, to the um, cartoony ones. So for the time being, we go to the eyes, and we'll do nose, and then we'll do mouth. So my eyes, oh, it came through. It came through. Yeah. All right, so let's get into the eye. This is going to be more of a realistic eye. So you know the eye is a circle. It's a big, one big ball, okay? So you have that one. You have another circle and you have another circle so you have three circles in each other so you have this one which is your pupil the center one which is always going to be black your um iris i'm sorry i just lost it for a second your iris is going to be the one that is has the color and your uh, this the white is called the sclera sclera i'll It'll, it should be typed up down here. So now you guys know a little bit of the anatomy if my angry camera wants to stop being angry. And I think it doesn't like to be close up when I zoom in like this. I think it just doesn't like that. So I may zoom out later. So again, you have the three parts of the eye. You have the eye, the pupil, the iris, and the sclera. So now you can go on to become a doctor and get you a license so all right now let's draw the eye so of course you know the eye sits behind the skin on the face so when I draw eyes and when I draw a face what I like to do is this and I will put I'll try to draw them pretty big just like drawing a half circle I guess and another half circle cut in half it's not really it won't, won't, won't come out to be a circle it'd be more of a dome dome shape like that now, if I'm drawing the man, I will have this line go straight through the middle. If I'm drawing a female, and this is just me now, if I'm drawing a female, I will have the same thing, but I will have it crooked like that. I will bring this corner up way above that line, and that just gives it a little more point to it. Just show kind of like give it more of that female look, and you can see by the two. You know the difference when you bring it when you bring it off of the um, line, and I'm bringing this down because I don't want this to be all wide open like oh surprise, and one is bigger than the other. Yes, I know, but you you still be able to see what I'm doing. So we have the sclera, which is the white part, which is which is inside the head like this. Maybe not that big, but I mean it, it's inside there, behind that skin. Then you're gonna have your you know, your your um your iris no the iris is the part that you see from your pupil is it the iris it is the iris i don't know i'm thinking of the cornea the cornea is the part from the side your eyes like this like that but then it has that little like lens that it's like a what do you call those things um when you can't see you put these things on your eye it's like a lens but that's that's your cornea right there it's clear and it helps adjust your eyes when you start when you can't see 
Then they use a laser on that to adjust the shape of this cornea to so you can focus your eyes again. Focus your eyes to see better. Oh, what do you call those things? I don't know what you call those things when you stick in your eyes. Not the eyeglasses, but anyway. So you have that. So this your your whole eye is gonna be back here. So you see just a little bit of this sclera right here because this is your tear duct. This is where you I, the water comes from behind your eyes and you cry and it comes out of there. So we have this shape. You're going to have your iris, which is going to be big and it's going to go down past this. It's all going to go past that little, those, little, those little slits for your eyes. And then you have your pupil. And the pupil is always black. And your iris is whatever color. It could be green, it could be blue, whatever. So, this, as I said, this is going to be the female. This is going to be the male eye. So, I'm going to erase all of this so you guys don't get confused. And we're just going to do the actual eye shape. And I'm going to try to rush this so that I can do the nose and the mouth. And then at the end, put a, put a face together. So... One thing about the eye, the eye is like, it's a soft, wet, wet little piece of jelly. So because it's wet, it's going to reflect like anything that is shiny is going to reflect like this part here. It reflects light. Wherever light is coming from, it's going to reflect. If I spill water on the table, it'll reflect from the light. So you're going to have a light source, meaning it could be a light bulb. It could be light from the window. It could be a ceiling light. It could be a fire in front. So it's always going to have a light source or, or, or a shiny area on it. So I will put it here. And it could be any shape. If it was like from a window, it would be like square shape like that. Remembering that this is round, so whatever it is is going to be round. But most times, you see, a lot of people will do the window thing like this on the eye. Because like there's a light from the window. But I'm just going to do a circle right here. And it can go into the black. It could be any size, any shape. So the one thing about this is if you have two eyes, which you do, wherever you put that light source, you have to put it in the same spot as the other eye. So even though this is the female eye, I'm going to go ahead and put that light source or that shiny spot right there. Now, do this. So I want to ink this. So as I said, this is always going to be black. I'm going to ink this black. And then this part for the tear duct. Same thing on the inside. You'll see part of that, that circle goes around here. And this is going to be the little tear duct. And this part is going to be there. So now I'll use a couple colors. Let's use blue for the guy and, and red for the, the girl. So it's going to be like this and green for the girl. So let's just do this. So remember that light source is going to be right there. So there's nothing that's going to go through that because it's shining. For the guy, and this is actually going to be like one color, like it'll be all blue, but then you'll see like the, the streaks or the speckles coming through that color. But for the sake of time and me pulling out different colors, I'm just going to do it like this. Now we have that. 
Now let me show you the side of the eye. The eye, when you're looking at it from the front, it looks like that. When you look at it from a profile, it's going to look like this, a V, just a V, just like that. Now one thing is, this one's going to be longer than that one because your eye is going to be round. Your eye is going to be in there like that, like that. And then this is going to be a little over and this is going to be a little under. So you're always going to have those eyelashes right there and right there. And so the eyelash, basically, if the light is coming down, the eyelash is going to shade your eye so you don't have to squint so bad when you're looking when you're looking at the um, when you're outside. So you're going to have this. You're going to have your light source, and you're going to have this right here, the iris of the pupil. I'm sorry. Something like this. This. Yeah, that is my light source. And then, because I've got the blue in my hand, it's going to be like this. Now, I did this to show you this. Now, it's going to be darker at the top and darker at the bottom. So, and then around the edge. So the edges, it has to be really thick. And then I make it thicker or darker at the bottom. So and this if you if you're doing color. If you're not doing color, no worries. And then of course you're gonna have that shadow at the top, which is gonna be more of a darker shadow color because that color is gonna that shadow because of this your eyelashes is gonna go actually go all the way around here. And I'll put lashes on it later. Try to speed this up because there's so much that you don't want to talk about that I can show you guys. So there's your eye and this is the light source which is like right there. This is pure white. So with this, remember, because it's this ball, where's my ball? Because the eye is round, the light is going to hit the highest point that sticks out. Now the light's gonna hit here on the top, but if I did this as a as a kind of an eyelash, and I had this the here, this part would be dark, and this part would be dark, this would be the lightest part that's sticking out, sticking out like that because this would be shaded so anything at the bottom is going to be darker remember this part you want to make it thick even with black you want to if you're just doing black you don't have to make it thick with color and then I would do darker down at the bottom and then darker at the top because of that shadow from the eyelash Let's use a fatter pen, save time. Eyelashes, not eyelash, eyelashes. And then this here. And I mean, if I wanted to get like fancy, I could make a black line around there, a darker line around there. And then that's my light source. And then now lashes. Usually if you're drawing eyelashes, well, let me get a little more detailed. The bottom lid is going to have, the bottom of the eye is going to have that little lip that goes around it. If you look in the mirror real close, you have that little lip. And then your eyelashes come out from the bottom of that lip like that. It's really close to the actual cutout for your eye. And the top eyelashes come out from under the bottom and go up like that. Now, if I'm drawing a female, depending on the size of the eye that I'm drawing, if I'm drawing a real big eye, if I'm drawing my eyes are like, my face is like this big and my eyes are this big, I won't do this because that's too small. I'll do one solid piece. So I'll do one solid piece here. I'll just take it from the corner and go up 
and then I'll just kind of come around like that one solid piece and then made and just do it. let me darken it first show you if you're drawing a small picture or a small face you, this is better to do than trying to draw each individual eyelash because it's just hard to do so then maybe I will add a couple ends right here not going all the way like that and then the same thing remember this comes out the last comes out from the bottom you can do a small one like this maybe go halfway around and then just do a few of the stringy lashes like that again I said that depends on how big the eye is that you're drawing if you're drawing a you know a big eye and usually men don't I don't do at lashes on men at all because as soon as you do lashes it turns into the female eye. As soon as you put one lash up there, it's the female eye. Now, if I'm doing a big eye the way I need to, then I will, I will try to do my lashes as best as possible. But we all know that lashes don't, are not uniform. They don't all fall the same way, fall the same direction. They're kind of like all over the place. Same thing with the, the lower ones. Just do a few. You know, so I just turned that male eye into a female eye. The second you put lashes on an eye, it becomes a female. So for men, don't do it. Don't do it. So in this one, we put that dark line here. And then maybe just, you know, just to be artistic. Just a few of those little streaks, speckles. Just being artistic. So that's how you draw an eye. That's how you color an eye. Remember the side of the eye is just a V or a triangle laying on the side. All right, so let's do a nose real quick. Let's do a nose real quick. And shadow. You got to have that shadow under there. If I had like a darker gray, you got to have that shadow. It's going to be there and it goes all the way down on both sides of the eye. Pencil, pencil, pencil. May it be a little better. Shadow. like that hopefully you can see that so yeah there's your there's your eye and then of course you have when you when you close your eyes you blink you have this little skin right here that folds so when you it's like a venetian blind when you open and close the blinds the the, the skin folds there and i hate that i turned this into the female eye and then of course your eyelashes for the female is going to be really thin and the male is going to be really thick. And you have that little fold here. That makes more for a realistic eye when you put that extra fold of skin. Not too much, not, not too much. All right, so let's nose, nose, realistic nose. An easy way to do a nose is to do an egg. You can do an oval or do an egg. Fatter at the t bottom, narrow, narrower at the top, and then do a, a V like this, an open, big open V like that. Now, with this, you have that. You have these two shapes. This V is sitting on top of that V. Curve this in like that, like you're doing a narrow oval like this. more of a, this coming to a point like that that's going to be your nostrils okay so it's going to be like this like this then right here at the edge you don't want to make it too big you want to do it close just do a little circle half circle around like that because these are your i don't know what these call uh, the wings i think they actually call your wings of your nose it comes up like this and goes down but for a woman, the less nose you draw, the prettier she will be. So you, you can do this, but you don't have to. This right here is just enough. And then you get rid of the top circle. And then you have a nose. That's all the lines you need. So if I inked it, it would be like this. It would be like this. And your two wings right here. That's your easy nose. And of course, your, your what is it it's called? There's a little piece. Where was it when I did the lips? 
when I did the lips, right here, there's a little piece on every body, and that is called your philtrum, if I'm not mistaken. Your nose goes right here. And that's what makes this mountain. That determines this mountain right here, these two mountain peaks. Your philtrum. So it comes down like this. And as I said, it determines your mouth be it male or female, you're gonna have that. So if I'm doing a nose from the side, I'm gonna do the L. Depending on which side, I'm gonna do an L. That's a reverse L, this is a capital, real capital L like this. Then I'm going to, instead of this being straight up, I'm going to angle it like that. Move that, and at the bottom, and then come around like you just did this, come around here like that and that's gonna be my side nose except one more thing I'm going to chop that point off like that now you can do some of the nostril here you don't have to and it all depends on the size of the face if I'm gonna draw a face this size there's no need for me to try to draw all those extra lines in the eye or you know real detail in the nose this is why we shortcut or do a little shorthand noses because the picture is so small that you're really not you're really not what I'm saying you're not, not concentrating on like the nose or you know maybe the eye you're concentrating on the whole thing but you're gonna have a good expression on the face because the expression determines the mood of your picture so we're gonna have this and a lot of times I don't draw the whole thing, but I'll, I will draw the, the mouth. So you have like this mountain. You, everybody can draw a mountain. You have a second mountain. You just curve like that. Like that. So it's just two mountains coming down. And in the center, you have like a little V at the bottom of your mouth that comes up. And then it connects. And then if you're drawing the female or the male, it depends. This is the male. Small right here or not so high, not so thick, and then the bottom lip. Now if I connected it, maybe make it a little thicker, it could be the female. And that also depends on the nose of the character. You don't want your, your female nose so, um, so thick. You want the female nose to be more thinner, which means this is not going to come out as far. So if I'm doing this, and I do this, like this, and that little circle under there, like that. So it's not going to come out as wide. Get rid of this, and then you will have more of a female nose. Come on, Brian, what you doing? What you doing? And then you can have the, the female mouth. Which I will make it thicker or a higher mountain. And then make this thick too. And then you have more of the female, especially when you put the eye, the eye that's not on the same line. I put an eye up here. And then my eyelashes, which is one solid piece. Maybe add a couple extra there and then just a little bit right there. And then you can do something like this, like the light, the light on the lips, the lipstick. This is just something that I do. I usually try to usually make my whole top lip black, especially if I'm doing black and white. If I'm doing color, I would add color. And then this part right here is going to be black as well, except for this part that would be shining. Move your hand, Brian, move your hand. Like that. So you have basically, it's kind of like lipstick. If you're doing a, just a pencil drawing or ink drawing and you don't have color, that could represent your color, your lipstick, because you left this light area shining from the lipstick. Same way I would do this. Here's my light source. Where's my thinner pen in your hand? Then I will have this, the black. Like that. And then if need be, I would do this. But that would represent color. So 
that's the difference between a male face and the female face. And then if I want to do the female nose, I will turn this up more and then kind of like bring this down and then maybe a slope. Now, if you do a man's nose, let's do this. You could do a broken nose like, like this. And that could be the male nose, or you can do the, the, the round nose. It, it depends on your character or your, your, um, your drawing. But a female nose, you want to keep it smooth. You want to keep it smooth and give it some nice angles to it. And then don't have this wing, too much wing. And then it comes out, actually it would come out further back there. So if I'm going to do the lips from the side, and I'm rushing this video because I know it's long, it's another V. There's another V or triangle right there with a center line in it like that. Now your top lip is going to be pointed like this. Your bottom lip is going to be rounded like that. So it's kind of like drawing a heart. If I drew a heart like that split it turn it over this is going to be more flat like that this is going to be round like that and then that's how you would draw a lip from the side so this is going to come it's going to connect to this lip drop this like that it's going to connect this is going to curve in like a like you're doing a circle and it's going to come out and make a chin like that so it's going to be down this down like that and I would curve it just give it a little curve and this is going to come around and I'll pick like the heart and then your chin like that and then your eye would come your nose comes up and then out your eye is a V again right here right in this point where it goes out you're going to have this brow right here it's your forehead your eye is going to be here with your lashes if you're doing a female and then your eye here so that's how you would draw the profile so you have your realistic eye your realistic nose and your realistic mouth or you could do cartooning which is as I say nothing wrong with cartooning a lot of things wrong to do with the cartoon so did I do the profile did I do profile did I do profile or did I do it in a another video I don't know but I remember so I'm gonna do a quick profile I do a profile serious profile I will do a rectangle kind of square not a perfect square rectangle put my cross here my plus symbol here um, this is going to be where the nose comes in there's that that L leaning L or upside down seven my curve my, okay, my mouth is going to be there. Is that V? And then going to have that curve for that chin. Now this is going to come up. Your ear is going to be you're on the back of that line. It's going to be half and half. Curve out, and then you can curve that head around. And that curve right here is going to go just basically right under your ear. It's not going to go all the way down to your chin. It's going to go right under your ear. So what I like to say is like drawing a big fat uh, letter P in reverse. Depends on which side it is, just like that. So if I drew like one of those open letter letter P's or nine or whatever letter that, that could be, like that. Take that. I'll bring this out more. Then just add your nose, your mouth, and your eyes. And then you have a profile. So your chin is going to come up. And then you're going to have your, your neck here and under the back of there. So if I'm continuing this one, let's <clears throat> say your neck is going to come out here. This is going to come, <clears throat> this is going to come down and it's going to curve, curve up, curve up. And then you're going to have that part of your neck like this, the chin. And then there. And then remember your, your eye is a V. And I'm rushing now. Nose. Chop that off, depending on if it's a man or a woman, what you want to do. So, do this. Bring that in. 
out because your eyebrow is right there at the top of that 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 brow right there that connects your eyebrow makes it starts your eyebrow bring that nose don't want to make it so pointy comes up this is that um, filtrum here's my mouth under there is the chin comes up this is gonna be my jawbone it's gonna be my, my ear at the top of the bottom of my nose and the top of my uh, eye make that a little bigger uh, like this and then you're gonna have some of this coming down and then your neck neck and then you have your hair however you want to put your hair and your neck and goes to the back of your ear and that would be how you draw a profile a little cheekbone so as classes goes on I'm gonna get more and more and more into it. I don't want to make each video too long but I'm gonna get more and more detailed into it and we still have a lot of shapes we can use to do like furniture and cars and other such things so as I say as these videos go uh, more I'll get more and more detailed and I'll, I hopefully I won't make it so long so at that here's this bell and this class is dismissed I will see you guys in the next class subscribe and like all right